everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and welcome to another tutorial. Now today I've got this just adorable tiny sweet little box and it's so cute. It's quick, easy to make and you only need a piece of card which is 5 by 5 inches. Um, I've made this one in fresh fig or was it Rich Razzleberry? Yeah, I think it was Rich Razzleberry. And it's just got a sweet little belly band that you just take off and then it opens up like that and I think it would be great for some little sweets, maybe some little mini eggs. You may even fit a lip balm in there actually. So that is what we're going to make. Now it isn't, well I can't take credit for this, I found this on Pinterest and it was done by somebody called Paper Smyco. So that is where I got this from. Now it's made on the envelope punch board and I'm going to show you how it's done. So I've got my envelope punch board. I'm going to make this one in lemon lime twist and as I said it needs to measure 5 by 5 inches. For the belly band I'm going to use this lovely tutti frutti DSP and that needs to measure six inches sorry so six inches by one and a quarter inches and that is the tutti frutti paper I'm using you get some gorgeous designs in there and the stamp set I'm using is a good day I really like this one because it's got some really sweet little um, images on and also the uh, scallop circle punches um, match them as well so on that one I used a little treat for someone sweet which they're just so cute and this one I'm going to use um, this little drink here because I thought that would look quite nice with this paper so let's get on with this now it's really easy just pop it in anyway because it's five by five and you were just going to line it up at one and a half inches and you're going to punch and score then you're going to go to three and one eighth of an inch punch and score <clears throat> so you will have that and then we're just going to turn it round and we are going to line this little notch up here with our lines. So I'm lining it up with there. Punch and score. Move over to the next line. Punch and score. And just keep turning it round and doing the same until you've done all four sides. And you will end up with that okay and then I am just gonna round the corners there we go dead easy just get rid of these and then we are gonna fold and burnish Oh, and if you haven't seen on my blog or Facebook page, starting from next Wednesday, the 7th of March, I'm going to be doing my very first class, which I'm really excited about, but really nervous. Um, it's a one hour class and it will be £5 for the hour. And I'll provide all the materials. You can just bring your scissors, bone folder, you know, whatever you prefer to use. So I really hope you can come. I mean, I know obviously there's people who have got a lot of fans who don't live anywhere near me, but for those that do, I hope you can come. And it will be held at the Agnew Community Centre in Newton Aycliffe at 2pm. 
and if you go onto my blog you'll see all the details on there and obviously if people turn up and it's a success I'll continue it every week and then I'm going to offer a one at um, two hour sessions which will be a little bit more but then we'll also be making two projects like a box or a bag and a card and just see how it goes really so what you want to do now is take your scissors and make sure you've got the larger ends facing this way okay because what we're going to do is just cut up here like that and cut up here okay turn it round so you've still got the two large ends on your left and right then cut up here and cut up here okay and what's going to happen is it's going to fold up these two here are going to get stuck to the side and that is how it's going to stick together okay so these two bits here we all we want to do is just trim them a little bit so kind of remove some of the end there just so we've got like that much left and that's just the bit that will go inside the box so it doesn't so it doesn't gape as much so I'm going to take some fast fuse and I'm going to pop some on these two flaps here and I'm also going to just pop a little bit down here okay and then I'm going to fold this up okay those two are just going to fold in like that and then this is just going to stick to them there is your sweet little box so they will go oh, I'll tell you what we have to do if we just cut a little bit off there like that it just um, stops them from getting in the way and then that goes in there haven't cut them off, off I don't think if it doesn't fit just cut a little bit more off or you could remove them completely if you wanted to you don't have to have them on why is it not going? Yeah, I need to take a bit more off the sides actually, off here. There we go, and that just closes down like that. And as I said, them bits were just so, you know, sometimes if you don't have a side bit, it kind of gapes open. But as I said, you don't even have to have them on. You can remove them if you want. So there is the little box, which is gorgeous. And we're going to do quickly do our little belly band. So just kind of pop your paper roughly so it's in the centre. And then just fold, whoopsie, fold it over like that don't pull it too tight because you want to be able to slide it on and off just like that just keep folding it round okay and then if you remove it you'll see your little fold lines if you just give them a little burnish just to reinforce them just like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to stick it on not upside down we're going to stick it on this way so that when we attach our little sentiment you won't be able to see the join okay so I'm just going to pop a small amount 
of fast fuse just down here, just a little bit. Oh no, I'll stick it in the box, there we go. Just a bit of fast fuse on there and then bring this over and don't pull it too tight because as I said we want to be able to slide it on and off which that seems fine. So we've got that on there and then I've got some Whisper White and I've got my two little stamps from the A Good Day and I've got some Lemon Lime Twist and I'm just going to ink up this little stitched circle here okay and then the little drink which is really cute all right so sweet that little set I've got the one and three eighths scallop circle and I'm going to punch out this little stitched circle here and then I've got the one and one eighth scallop circle and I'm going to punch out my little drink okay and I'm just going to pop a bit of fast fuse in the middle there and I'm just going to stick this down. You will see a bit of the stitching sticking out. You can see that there. And then I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals on. Like that. Take my little box and I'm just going to stick that there and as I said it will hide the join for the little belly band and then I have got if I can get them some of these little sequins and I'm going to take a lemon lime twist one left the sticky back and actually on the paper and I'm just going to move that actually sort of like a glue dot on the back of them I'm just going to pop a little sequin on there how cute is that and there is the original one that I made so all the info will be on my blog um, and, I, and as I said all the info about the craft classes as well and I will be back again on Friday for another tutorial so thanks for watching take care and bye for now